Hi, everyone. I know many of you have gone above and beyond expectations, perhaps even your own expectations over the past six weeks since COVID measures were introduced. Today marks day 47 since the Emergency Operations Center convened. My thanks to you and to Glenn Magel, particularly for his tireless and dedicated leadership of this initiative, along with the many people working alongside him. I think you all deserve a virtual round of applause and appreciation, and thank you so very much. For faculty and staff watching this, I hope you've now received the update from Ana Lopez outlining the government's principles for decision making. I know it's been a stressful time and appreciate your patience and resilience. This update will now move us forward with a BCIT specific approach that reflects our unique educational mandate. Over the course of the coming weeks, you'll hear more from Anna, Tom, Jennifer, and your deans in this regard. I'm going to keep my remarks short today because we're also announcing the Employee Excellence Award recipients. So today I'm going to cover two things. Mental Health Awareness Week, which is next week and very important in this time of COVID-19 and BCIT Employee Excellence Awards. I know I've talked about BCIT's mental health supports and counseling services for students, faculty and staff here before. And that's because I believe it's critically important that we take care of ourselves and our mental health during this stressful time. This week, we announced a new training program for employees to support mental health, improve resilience, and enhance wellness. It's called Mind Well You, and it teaches mindfulness skills and has been used successfully at UBC, Harvard Law School, Fraser Health Authority, and others. You can learn more in a webinar hosted by the founder on May 7th. I'd also like to remind you of the ongoing mental health initiative, Not Myself Today. The program has been presented by the Canadian Mental Health Association and employees have access to various resources, tools and activities designed to raise awareness and reduce stigma. For students, of course, we offer mental health at home web resource and other virtual counseling that is available to them. I know many of you are juggling family and work and personal commitments right now, and you've all heard the phrase, you can't pour from an empty uh, cup. So please take care of yourself and so that you can continue to take care of those who you love and give back. On the theme of giving back, today we're going to recognize our 2020 Employee Excellent Award recipients across 13 categories. I know we all miss being together and celebrating each other's accomplishments, and so we wanted to share a video, a fun video, to mark the occasion and to honor everyone virtually and safely. My thanks and congratulations to each of you who will receive an award and I hope you take a moment to appreciate your own contributions and your colleagues' recognition of your achievements. My thanks also to everyone who nominated a coworker or participated in this process or on a selection committee. I know a lot of work and consideration happens behind the scenes to create these awards each year, and it's so important that we celebrate one another, especially now. So now we're going to introduce you to the award recipients in the fun video and have a great week ahead.